Hello everyone, welcome to the video sessions. I am V. Premlata, Assistant Professor from CSE Department and here I am to teach structure pointers for the course CTST. So what will be the aim of the session here? So we will make the students to familiarize with the structure pointers in C programming. What will be the objectives of this session is that introduction to structure pointers, declaring and defining structure pointers, accessing the individual structure members. So we have seen the same, these three categories for structures, defining, initializing and accessing. But now we are going to discuss with structure pointers, what will be the outcomes of this one then. Student will be able to create a structure pointers and he will be able to access the members using structure pointers. Now, in this session we are going to see about the structure pointers, creation and importance. The syntax of structure pointers in C programming, how to access them and how to initialize the values using pointer variables. Now before going to the session, we need to have a prerequisite how to understand the structure points. We need to first understand what is a pointer. I hope everybody are familiar with the usage of pointers. But let us give a quick review what is a pointer. I have created a variable with a value as 10. And system automatically generates the moment you create a variable with some valid address. And that address can be of any hexadecimal type. Now, A is the name of the cell. 10 is the value stored in the cell. This can be called as data or information. Then 2000 is the address which is generated by the system. We are not going to deal with the address in here because the system takes care of generating the address there. Okay, enough. For this particular variable, I need to access this indirectly using the address. So we are creating a pointer variable. For easy access, my better suggestion is that create a pointer variable indication as PA that is nothing but I am creating a pointer variable for a variable as A. So I need to just prefix P for the particular variable. So for whom I am creating a pointer variable? A that's what I just mentioned that as P. So you can use it as P or PTR. As of now, I'm using something as P. Now, did I store any value into that? No. Now, 9000 is just a random number what I have picked up for, you, for this explanation. Now, how to store this address in here? The moment I am storing some address like this. So what is the address of A? 2000. So 2000 is the value which I am storing in P. So this is the address which is being stored in this cell. Okay, then the moment you see it as asterisk as PA, that means it goes to the location that is as asterisk as 2000. In 2000, what is the value available? 10. That means indirectly we are focusing on value of 10 there. Okay, so, so as you can see here, this is the statement you are supposed to write PA equals to address of A. The moment you write is 2000 will be stored in PA and it is indirectly accessing the variable. So PA is the name of the cell. Then 2000 is the value which is stored in the cell. Next 9000 is the address. It cannot be fixed like that it is 9000. Just we are taking an example that this might be the address of that address of this particular variable. Now let us give a simple uh, example like how we can access these can be accessed there. So I am just writing a small snippet to identify the difference between accessing a normal variable and a pointer variable. So I have declared A and I have assigned the value as 10 and I have declared a pointer variable PA. So can you see the difference between A and PA? So PA which is being appended first as asterisk symbol. The moment it is as asterisk symbol that means it is an indication that this is a pointer variable. So I created a pointer variable. Now how to create a connection between these two PA and A. The moment you write it as PA equals to address of A. That means a connection is being established right now from PA to A where using this address you can access the value as A. So you can see here if I'm printing, I just want to fetch the value of A. So you're using the specifier type specifier as percentage D. So I'm getting the value as 10. 
Now I want the address of A. So which kind of uh, data type it is? We do not know because it can be some hexadecimal value. It is not fixed to any data type. So for that particular address whenever you are printing, you are supposed to use a type specifier as percentage P. So what will be what will be the address of A? 2000. So just that is a just an example there. So for your understanding, I have taken a simple number. So 2000 will be printed there. Now I am accessing the value. Now I am printing something as asterisk of PA. Now asterisk of PA is nothing but what is PA holding? 2000. That means asterisk of 2000. That means immediately it goes to the location in here. In this location what is the value? 10. So indirectly it is accessing as 10. So simply if you are printing A or asterisk of PA are both the same they depict the same values you are accessing this directly you are accessing this as indirectly that is the only difference between these two then next i want the address because i want you to show what will be the address of a and what will be the address of p so that's what i am just printing p a p a i am printing the address so for the address what is the specifier so percentage p so 9000 has been printed there so i hope everybody are familiar with this pointers concept because you need to understand this to understand the structure pointers okay we will go ahead with the structure pointers so first we will see the importance of structure pointers now this is the same how you are declaring for pointer to a single variable pointer to an array variable pointer to a structure the similarity is the same in declaration or in accessing also now we are using the structure as i told you in the previous one we are accessing the udt that is your user defined data type uh, what is that udt grouping together different data types under one single name now by using the structure pointers in this session you will access and manipulate the data stored within a structure there now how can you use it how you are using for a single variable or a array variable array pointer character pointer or anything the same symbol is being used that is as your notation of asterisk symbol right enough we will see one example so if you are having a structure name as student and you are declaring a pointer this to this structure we will see how the structure syntax will be there so how to declare a structure you know struct is the keyword the tag name followed by the variable name right now right now what are we creating a structure variable or a pointer variable so we are supposed to give asterisk followed by the structure variable name whatever you wanted to give it this is the same tag name is the same structure name also is the same but what you are supposed to do give the asterisk symbol there how you have done for a single variable for pointer for array variable now also for the structure you are following the same thing now how to access them structures when we have seen in the previous session we use the dot operator to access how we have done s1 dot in the previous session we have used some members right s1 dot name s1 dot id right now to access a normal variable you are using dot, dot operator to access a pointer variable you are supposed to use the symbol as s1 is the structure name and minus followed by greater than symbol so this is the symbol which you are using for structure pointers okay we will go ahead how to use the structure pointers how to declare initialize and access these variables using structure pointers now i am taking an example of a structure which is having two numbers two members first one is as age second one is as weight and the name of the structure already I have given which is as p1 so I hope you remember in the previous session what is the tag name here person what is the name of the structure p1 what are the members age and weight right enough everybody are familiar with how the memory allocation is done so this is the p1 which is having two members age and weight so integer it is taking four bytes weight also it is taking for four bytes so this is the representation how it is done in the memory there now just see now I am trying to initialize the values in here. 
in the previous session we have seen the direct assignment now I am going to do with the reading from the user there. So, it is purely optional that if you wanted to use this you can use otherwise it is not mandatory that you have to use this printf statements. My better suggestion is that to have in a better clarity what uh, information you are uh, giving. So, better use the information like print what kind of data you want it. So, I am taking the age there. So, printing that now storing that one into p1 dot h taking the weight then storing that into p1 dot weight right. So, now whatever I have given through keyboard is stored in h whatever I have given through keyboard is stored in the weight there. Now, these are the initializing the values ok values are done. Now, what I am supposed to how I am supposed to access them you are not accessing them in a normal way we are supposed to access them using the pointer structure. Now, see here I have now created the pointer variable. What is the pointer variable now? As I told you, you can proceed with p or ptr. So, for p I am creating a pointer variable. So, this is as ptr underscore. So, ptr underscore p1 is the name I am giving for the pointer variable. Now, how to establish the connection between these two? Yeah, you know this ptr underscore p1 equals to address of p1 ok. So, the moment it is done now this is pointing out to the first address that is 1001. So, it is pointing out to that particular location there. Now, how to access them? So, as I told you if it is a single variable you are using a dot variable dot operator. Now, we are accessing that using one more variable that is as ptr underscore p1. Now, what is the symbol we are supposed to use for the structure pointers? Just access them like this. What is the name of the structure? p1. Simply use this symbol and the member names. How many members you have? Two members that is as age and weight. So, if it is a normal variable how you access that? So, you are saying as p1 dot age p1 dot weight. So, now I am accessing them with your pointer variables. So, we will see how to access that. So, you can see here ptr underscore p1 with the pointer symbol and h then p1 ptr underscore p1 with the symbol as this accessing the pointer. So, indirectly through this I am accessing the variables which are available in p1. So, this is how you use accessing the variables of a particular structure using the pointers. So, we will see one more example. So, now I want a student details. So, I have three fields name, number, marks and declare the name of the structure also. What is the name of the structure? S1. How many fields are there? Three fields are there name, number and marks. So, how the memory location will be there? See the memory location you are having S1 which is holding three members name, number and marks. Now, we will try to assign the values, try to access them using the pointers ok. So, as I told you it is purely optional for you to enter the names using the printf statements. Otherwise, briefly you can just use the reading method for storing the values into that. So, I have stored the values. So, assignment is done for these three variables s1 dot name the value is stored whatever I give here is being directed to s1 and from s1 to s name the value is stored. Next I have given number and I am asking that to go and store in the location as s1 and s number. So, it will go to the s number and store. Next I am giving the values to store in marks. So, s1 and marks. So, values are being assigned into these members. Now, how to access them? Are we accessing them individually or through pointers? So, we are accessing them through pointers. So, what is the symbol we are supposed to use? So, this is the symbol we are supposed to use variable name the symbol and the variable name of the pointer variable name now the member there. So, we see so this is the direction how these values are stored there as I told you before enough I have created the pointer variable now what is the pointer variable name 
PTR underscore S1. So, it is not mandatory that you have to use underscore or something for better understanding. I just make it as familiarized like pointer for this particular variable. So, PTR underscore S1 is created for S1 then. Now, how to create the establishment for these two variables? So, this is the one which creates a connection between S1 and the PTR, right. The moment you say here, immediately what happens? The PTR underscore S1 points to the first address, points to the first address of S1 there, okay. Now, see here, the moment this step is been done, immediately it generates pointing to the first address of the S1 structure then. Now, how to access them? Accessing them with the pointer variable, that is the structure pointer variable. What is the name of the structure pointer variable name? PTR underscore S1. So, how to give? PTR underscore S1, give the symbol and S number. So, I am going to give first as S, S number, name and marks. So, through this I am accessing through this indirectly I am accessing. Now, if I do not want to use the structure variables, how can I directly access them? Simply say it as S1 dot S number. Are these both the same? Yes, of course, because this is a direct access and this is as indirect access. So, this is a simple variable directly I am accessing this using another pointer variable I am accessing through the address indirectly. So, these both depict the same in fetching the values. But the only difference is that we are accessing here as directly and here we are accessing with the pointer variables. I hope this simple and brief explanation of these two examples will familiarize you to understand creating the structure pointers, accessing them with these two difference there, okay. Now, we will see few activities which are available in the sessions there. I want everybody to look into the activities and the self assessments and the references whatever av available in the sessions to make yourself hands on experience on these sessions that is your structure pointers. So, two examples are given for you to practice a simple example. So, let me give a brief thing first is that they asked you to create a student for 5 subject marks and percentile using the structure pointers and the second one is that just a program to retrieve from a file using the structure pointers. So, it is a simple thing you can have practice on these sessions and also find out these snippets. So, so, two or three snippets are given where you can test yourself how far you have understood the concept of structures there. So, you can just go through these uh, snippets and identify the outputs of this. It will be very easy if at all you are not able to make it just go through the sessions one ag once again and work, work on it there. So, we will just see summary of this session what we have learned. So, as we have seen in the previous session, we have learned how to create a structure, how to initialize and how to access. The same thing, how to create a structure pointer we have seen, how to access the members using the structure pointer we have seen, assigning the values we have done as well as accessing also we have seen. The same thing what we have done for the structures, we have done for the same for the structure pointers also. So, as I told you some self assessment questions are being given for you. I want everybody to have a practice on this, a simple only very brief one just the syntax and the operators. Hope you can uh, answer these and some terminal questions also are given for you to practice. Please do that uh, and you can refer further if you want to have some case studies or experiment on the structure pointers, you can go through our uh, prescribed books which are being given. So, I hope you are familiarized with these topics of structure and structure pointers, usage of these, remember these three which are defining, initializing and accessing. Then it will be very easy for you to implement all the things. Thank you for this session, end of the session, thank you.